What's up, sports bettors? This game is pretty interesting, so we're going to go through it. Patriots versus Packers. What are the best bets? So unsurprisingly, the Patriots are pretty big underdogs. You can see that they're best offered at plus 410 odds on the Betfair Exchange, best odds on the Packers, 422. So betting markets are implying like uh, if you go ahead and you go to an odds converter calculator, what this calculator will do is kind of like tell you based on where the sports books are pricing odds, you know, what is the win probability for a team, right? So basically, the Patriots are best offered at plus 410. So sports books are implying they're less than 20% right here to win the game. So pretty fascinating. The point spread is set at nine uh, or nine and a half, depending on the sports book. So nine, obviously a key number in football. You know, so if you're trying to bet on the Patriots, definitely, or the Packers, I apologize, definitely bet them minus nine, you know, at minus 109 as opposed to minus nine and a half at minus 110, right? You always want to be looking for value for an edge, for a leg up as a sharp better because you don't need to win every single bet, right? To, 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 to become a profitable sports better, right? Like this opened my eyes. Someone told it to me, um, while I was working, you know, kind of on Wall Street and started betting on sports, is when you're betting at minus 110 odds, you only need to win 52.4% of your bets to beat the sports book long term, right? You are a winning sports better in the long run if you're winning on spreads and totals 53.5% of the time, 54% of the time. You know, some of the best pro sports bettors can get to 50, 55, or I mean 55, 56, 57% of the time. So the sports book only has a 2.4% advantage on, on you on spreads and totals. So always being able to pick up these spots with value, like Packers minus nine, where if the Packers win by, you know, three field goals, we're pushing, everyone else is losing, and we're getting pretty good odds at minus 109. Like, that's exactly what you want. Total points, very low, 39 and a half or 40, depending on the book. Again, pick up value where you can, right? As a sharp better, it's all about value. It's all about following the data, right? Sports betting is fascinating because every bookmaker, you know, sets lines independently. The lines on Bally Bet aren't the same as the lines on Betfair. So when you're trying to determine like, oh, is this bet good? Does it have value? You should be thinking like a trader, like an investor. Well, you know, we definitely don't want to be betting the Patriots on 888 Sport at plus 340 money line, considering there's other people who are betting that plus 410 on the Betfair exchange. This, you know, betting the Patriots at plus 340, even if they win the game, is a horrible bet, right? It is a surefire way to lose money sports betting in the long run. So anyways, let's get into the play I have, which is a pretty fun one, and it's a positive EV bet, right? So obviously, Odds Jam has lots and lots and lots of data, you know, kind of updating in real time. But what's really cool is there's also a bunch of, you know, kind of tools um, to try to find value in the data, right? To try to show you bets that actually have an edge. You know, out of the millions of odds on sportsbooks, since the sportsbooks have the vague, they have the juice, you know, the sportsbook's going to have a leg up. So what you need to do is kind of like sift through all the data, all the odds on sportsbooks and zone in on those few betting opportunities that are actually profitable. So I went through this play last night on my live stream. You can see there's Patriots plus 10 on Bally Bet. I haven't signed up for Bally Bet yet, but I probably should considering they're offering a great line on the Patriots. But what I ended up going with is the Patriots plus six and a half on the first half point spread. So you can see the profit margin right here, 1.52%. That's the profit margin of your bet. So all positive EV bets, you can see, you know, one, two, three, four. There's only like 12 bets that Odds Jam is telling us, hey, you're getting so much value, you're actually beating the big, you're beating the juice. And what you can see is the play we really want to go with is the Patriots plus six and a half, right? We want to play this at minus 110. Pinnacle right here, this is the sharpest sports book in the world. They're pricing this at minus 124, right? DraftKings has this minus 130. So with the VIG removed, you know, once you remove the VIG from the sports book, which 
essentially will just tell you the true odds, right? Once you remove the VIG, you get the true odds. The sports book makes money by backing out what they believe the true price is, and then they add in their VIG. So what we're doing is the reverse, right? We're saying, hey, here's a sports books market. So what's the true odds? So for the Patriots game, as an example, if we go to the no big odds calculator, Pinnacle had this minus 124, plus 110. So the true odds, according to Pinnacle, with no VIG, once you remove the VIG, is minus 116. We're getting minus 110 on win bet. So we're beating the zero VIG line, right? We're getting better odds than the true odds, which is why our bet has an edge. If you have questions about that, you can comment them below, whatever. But that's how sharp bettors think. That's how people who do this full-time for a living think. Wow, DraftKings has this minus 130, and they only have 30 cents of juice in their market, right? So there's 30 cents of juice. The true odds with the VIG removed is going to be somewhere in the middle. Minus 115 is the true price according to DraftKings. We're getting minus 110. We're getting value. Pinnacle has this minus 124. So the true price is minus 117. We're getting value, right? So we're treating every single sports book in the market kind of as an independent data point of where the line should be set and looking for value. And obviously, like Patriots plus six and a half looks pretty good. Most sports books actually have the main line market set at six, right? And six is a key number in football, right? Six is two field goals. So if the Packers are up by two field goals, you know, we're cashing our plus six and a half on win bet. Everyone else is losing who bet at plus six, right? They're, er, they're pushing, I apologize. So we're cashing when the rest of the world is pushing, right? That's why as a sharp better, you need to look at all the odds in the market and search for value because plus six and a half at minus 110 is a lot different than plus six, especially on a first half spread. So I hit it. For 250, positive EV bet. So just a bet with a mathematical edge. You know, I've been tracking my profit and loss kind of for all of these positive EV bets we've given out on YouTube, either on live streams or just plays like this that I found on Odds Jam, made a video about. You know, we're up 12.6K on full length videos since the start of football season. We're down two grand ish, 1600 bucks. Um, so up $11,000 total, which isn't bad, right? So we have the Patriots first half money line. Really, it's a volume game. Place as many positive EV bets as you can. You know, I'll kind of include this sheet um, in the description. What the sheet does is it essentially like tells you um, um, based on, you know, how much you're betting in the average EV of the bets you're playing, how many bets do you need to place a month or a day? to earn, you know, your desired profit goal. So if you want to earn 1500 bucks a month, you're betting $100 per bet at an average edge or EV percentage of 3%. So you can see like this one would qualify, you know, you take these two, you average them. If you always took the top two plays on odds jam an average of 3%, you would need to place 16 bets a day to earn $1,500, right? And if you want to make more money, you either should place more bets or you should increase your bet size, right? You really have two things in your control to make more money. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Patriots plus six and a half. First half spread against the Packers and let's make some money, guys.